Oh, hi there, and welcome back to Minecraft. We're here on the FHD server, and we've got quite a lot planned for today. As you've already seen, Lord Master Trot and myself have spent quite a few hours already working on the Oasis project. Now, obviously, we've just been going around popping lots of uh, stone and dirt and trees and stuff around. Lots more to do, but we'll update the maps in a moment just to sort of see how far we've got and what's left to do it in a moment. Um, as I say, we've got lots more to do. We we need to go check out some of the competitions that have been running on the server recently. We need to double check who's been winning, what the scores are, and hopefully collect some reward if we won. And then Emmerich and I are planning to work on a guardian farm. So we'll try and get that all sorted and maybe squeeze a few other things on the way. Let's begin. So the moment of truth, we need to update the map. Now we've been working around this area here, so I'm hoping to see... Uh, well, not so much there, but certainly this area should be filling in quite a lot. So let's just pop that off and... Um, so what we got. I love watching this update as I walk along. It's awesome. And it just goes to show how much has actually been achieved. Uh, excuse me. I'm, I'm, I'm recording here. Stop. Yes, yeah, so this is looking amazing so far. Let's update the other ones and see what happens. Awesome. I think we've done quite a good job. You look at that now, it's come on a lot. And if you compare that to the original map, the one that's locked, that hasn't changed since it started, I mean, this just a boring old desert, not a lot going on. And look at all this life here. Amazing. So whilst we're in the desert, might as well have a look at the Dirt Hut competition. And all Dirt Huts have now been built and votes have all been completed. So I'm just going to hover over all of these. So if you, if anyone wants to double check my calculations, feel free to pause the video, check these and come back to me and tell me if I'm wrong. But I've calculated that plot four, which is this one, is the winner with 14 points. So they get the top prize. Two factions are currently tied for second place, which is this one here with 11 points. And this one here also with 11 points. So they really need to take a trip down to the death pit, have a little fight and determine who's the best. Uh, whichever wins that one will become second place and the other one will become third place. At position four is ourselves with this one, and we had a total of 10 points. And then last but not least is this plot here with only four points. What that basically means is that this plot here takes the top prize, which is all of this. One of these two upon a death pit match will take the second prize, which is all of this. And then whoever loses that death match, match, death match will take the third prize, which is all of this. And, um, well, we did all right. And guess who won the Easter Bunny banner competition? That's right, me, which means I get all of these diamonds. So, shame they've all been named, but they will look great in the Frostmason Vault. Come on out over to the Ocean Monument and met Emmerich. Now, if you remember from the last video, we raided this place, did it really easily because we're pros, but we completely forgot the... Well, we couldn't find... Excuse me, mate. I'm trying to record. Um, stop trying to shoot me. Uh, we couldn't find the sponge room. So, post-production, during editing, I noticed where it was. So, we're going to go collect the sponge. Invisible? Here we go. Hang on, I'm not invisible. Oh, I am invisible. I'm wearing, on, I'm wearing on my armor. We'll try taking the armor off this time and see what happens. Here we go. Awesome. I think that's all of them. 33. Not bad. Not bad. And we can't leave this as it is. We're going to need to do some work on it. So I think we've decided on a farm that we want to build. And it's one that's been created by someone called Mind the Fab. Uh, link to his videos in the description. Uh, but we're going to have a little play and see if we can recreate it because it looks like really, really easy to make and um, could quite a good productive one. Should should give us quite a lot of return. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think uh, the plan looks pretty straightforward, but we're going to build it in survival, so that could always be interesting so we're completely invisible we've got our helmets on so the bad guys can't see us obviously we can see each other but that's fine um but we should be safe so shall we crack on with it yeah i reckon let's uh let's get it done right you're over there i'll take this side so let's go up to water level and then just link all of that to that one and then do the same with that up four and up one two three four and I'll do the bottom on this side if you stick the top. I had a super cool idea to build around this thing, like a oil rig, which I reckon would look sensational. But we are so far out of anywhere that nobody would ever actually see it. Well, true, but in the same sense, we're here. True, yeah, and it's really for us, isn't it? Yeah. We'll leave all the chests and stuff up there for the time being, because... 
it's a long way to go <laughs> to, to take them back. Did you want that anvil? <laughs> so get rid of all these unwanted pieces. And so you've got in two blocks there and then we'll square that off. So we're going to have two by two with the two gap all the way around the outside. Brilliant. That's it. So we'll easy. It's coming top. together well. Keep an eye on your uh, invisibility. Where are we at? That's a point. Um, I'm there not invisible. Go. There we go. Slurp that one. <laughs> Good timing. Oh. So, that's pretty well all the nether portals in place. Yeah, that's pretty good. Right, okay, so let's come out. One, two, Six. three, okay. We don't need those ones, and I'll start placing glass around. So, one, two, three. And it's just going to be literally two by two all the way so oh. yep one two then one more and go all the way on the other side okay so that's good and then we want to go up just up to the top of the uh near the portals yeah okay so we now have a glass box surrounding the obsidian nether portals that's going to be there some minute and we probably need to jump into the nether as well and start a uh collection point over there so we will need some um campfires uh which i can start making so if you want to maybe come to light these up yeah why don't you light it up light it up let's uh let's get into the nether and work out what we've got over there i've um, got a bunch of hoppers ready to go did you grab your flint and seal i have got it mate yep can you chuck it down certainly all right see if i can get it to you this time no, missed ya. <laughs> I'll go for a swim. Okay, brilliant. So, let's light this up and get some noise coming in here. Uh, start on the outside. One, two, three, and four. And the inside. One, two, three, and four. Nether portals are now in place. So this is where we're going to be catching people. Uh, but we're going to need to get the water level so loud. The water level higher. It's not that far, so is it? So that go in. Going through. And I'm at the right place. Okay, let's just make sure we can go back. Amazing. Right, okay. So that's in place. Just need to make it look a bit neater. Get a collection system. So the last one is just the inside. Have you done the inside yet? Uh, no, not got the inside. So you've done there. I've done cool. all the outside now. Just got to place the water inside the... Okay, so all that side, here, all that is... side little bit trickier oh well, done oh brilliant right through the portal to the other side yep so dig out some space around the portal so that we've got room for the bad guys to come out and uh fall in so yeah. they're all facing over there into the over to those four chests excellent we'll and block these off so they don't get stuck so they're going to yes. come out the portal All and they're right. going to fall in there, burn to death, and then those drops will come in here. And same on the other side, and the hoppers lead into here. Easy. Yeah. So I think we can sneak through here for one last time, and then we'll have to start using the other portal. Oh, okay, yeah, good point. Good point. These pigmen, <laughs> well, they'll, they'll be going back in a second. So we need to place uh, source sand in the blocks directly below uh, where the portals aren't where the obsidian isn't so there's four blocks here yep right in the middle so anything that comes in here we throw it up there i got no choice but to go through the portal they'll go through straight away yep. we then need to leave two spaces no we need to leave one space and then do the same here all the way around that's it <laughs> try not to swim over it once you've placed it <laughs> little tip i picked up what we've got. and then we've got two more blocks on the outside so leave one gap and then go out two more is that all done? Uh, what's this one over here for? Uh, that, I saved it for future. <laughs> <laughs> so, cool. So that works. So anything that, that gets is, that caught in... It looks really cool, doesn't it? Anything that's caught in there goes flying straight up there and will end up in the portals. Oh, I'm not invisible anymore. Uh, let's deal with this. Oh, me neither. 
<laughs> okay. Did you lose me? Great. So they all go into there. We just need to spawn uh, an AFK platform, really, no, don't we? Ah, uh, yes, mate. Okay, so this guy is, these guys are trapped inside, so yep. they can't do so anything. They, they're going to they flip around for a bit, and eventually they just hoist into the. They're going to find their way into the portal. That's the plan. I yep. wonder whether we should on. put an extra thing of water around the edge, the far side, to push them into the middle. Let's risk it for a chocolate biscuit. So, like that. And that pushes, that pushes them away. Beautiful. Yep. And do the same all of these, and then they're going to be pushed into the portals. Um, if you do it all the way, you'll create, uh, you'll create full sources, I think, again. But if we avoid the corners... See, I'm getting pushed into this pretty badly. I'm struggling yep. to get away from that. So we've got... If you do it on both sides, maybe? Uh, yeah. Opposite sides. And There's still an element it. where they can get in or get away. Yep. But it should encourage more people to fall in there. Um, so the platform wants to go up. Oh, you're doing it. Brilliant. So we can now crouch over the edge, see the farm all the way down there, zoom in on it, and. Are they even in render distance? I can't see them. I can't yeah. see if anyone's down there. I can't even see the chest they've, they've rendered out. <laughs> um, yeah, you see, that sort of happens when. Um... Yeah, that does happen uh, when I was testing this as well. So I was like, is it working? Is it working? But I decided just to hang up here for... I think... In the end, I think it was about half an hour and uh, went down and, oh my goodness, it was very, very efficient. What I might do, I've got some rockets on me. I'm going to fly over to the other portal. I'm going to okay, then go to look. the nether and go check it out while you stay here. Right, let me go for a fly. Back in a minute. Awesome. So much quicker when you're flying over there. Um, okay, there's the trees. And there's the ship in the iceberg. And there's the portal. Straight in. And loop around. Not got too far to go. Okay, I can see there's, there's loads in there. There are loads in... Oh, that... We okay, we got loads. We all, the chests are already filling up. Um, this we're gonna need a bigger storage area. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is actually working really well. Um, they're literally just all coming through, <laughs> dying, and these chests are filling up so quick. And there's my, no uh, my there's, hat goes off. <laughs> there's no it's work involved for us. That is. That is amazing. It is a, it's very impressive. We're getting stone buttons from there as well. Why are we getting stone buttons from all these mobs? Oh, really? That's a pain. But yeah, <laughs> you, we, we always want stone buttons. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I think a lot of them came through, but I think they're waiting for me to, to get here before they loaded in. But so there's there's not as many here now. But there are still quite a few. They're still coming through. And we've already got... Uh, each chest, double chest, has already got the top line full. Yeah. Oh, good. Mind you, so what are you saying? So now there's... Now you're there. So I can... Obviously, I can only see one side of this. I might have to open up the other side so I can have a look. But I can currently see... Maybe two or three gardens in there. Yeah. And every time one dies, another one comes in. And do you know what? They're, they're coming quick. There's loads. There's loads of them. <laughs> There's loads of them. Good. Uh, so we're going to be getting all the the, the prismarine blocks. We're going to get um, sea lanterns. No XP from this because obviously they're dying in there. But we could always change that and put a hole where we can punch them. That's not the end of the world. Actually, that I I might just have a quick go at that now. If I come round this side. Oh, oh, I've let them out. I've let them out. I've let them out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do you want me to come and help? Um. 
they just I think you need to stop spawning them in for a second. <laughs> there's just so many oh, of them. On. Oh, that was um problematic. Obviously I'm visible now as well. Um Let's take off all the armor apart from the electric. I'm seeing that they're all just oh my they're falling it's flowing into the nether and just uh falling into lava. Okay, when that's fixed, that's gonna look really good. Um Oh my this is amazing. This this is ridiculous. I mean I need to fix it, but they're just <laughs> just falling, loads of them. They're still coming? Yeah. I, I don't know. It should, it should start slowing down a little bit. I've had so to I'm fly up. away so that they yeah. weren't getting me. Okay, I'm back in here. They've all bounced out and pretty much I can block this off. Right, I blocked it off. There's a f there's literally one or two out. That's fine. It's safe. Okay, they're coming through now. Yeah, they're coming through. Oh, wow. This is such a productive farm. Literally need like 10 minutes of it. Well, this farm is just amazing. It's super cheap and easy to make. It's so, the, the output is incredible. There's just no work involved really. And it just keeps giving and giving and giving. Just, I just can't believe it. It's so good. Uh, special, special shout out and thanks to Mind the Fab. He has been amazing with his tutorial. Uh, I'll, again, there's a link in the description of the video. So just obviously double check that out. Uh, give it a watch. If you like it, subscribe to him. And while you're subscribing, why not check out Emmerich as well? Obviously, he's been working with us on this project. So check him out. Give him a subscribe. Uh, but unfortunately, that is all we've got time for today. So if you enjoyed the video, please give a big like and thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Obviously, tell your friends about it too. So if you like it, it's a good chance they will too. But as always, I've been CKM. You've been awesome. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.